What's up, WWE Champions Universe? This is Lee from Champions Chat. And, uh, well, I've got an update. I'm not super pumped about this update, but it's an update nonetheless. See, uh, in a previous video, which I hope you've already watched, I dug deep into League 22. What's in the loot, uh, what you need to know, what's going on, all that stuff. So this is just a brief update because what I had asked was for them to update my account to League 23 so that we could do the same thing and then League 24. And I got like a, yeah, we're willing to do that response. However, then today, you see it on screen right there. Uh, League 22 through 24 has been uh, already confirmed in game with a visual that this loot stays the same. So I'm not going to go back over the loot. I did that in a previous video, but I do want to talk for just a second about this because I'm. This is a miss for me. It is a miss for me. I get that programming all of this in the new meta all at once was was a lot of effort. Like just, I, I know there's been some oopsies, I get that, but this was a lot of effort. Uh, programming stuff is not easy. So, you know, let me dispel my own thought of like, oh, they should have just done this. Yeah, well, okay, woulda, shoulda, coulda, but what actually happened is that the league loot stays the same. So. I'm not impressed at all with League Silver, uh, Silver League 22 loot. I was really hoping to save my loot pulls for League 23. Uh, I just mentioned in my Austin video where I took him up that uh, I didn't know who I was going to take for strikers. I had a mental moment, right? I just lost myself there for a second because Zombie Sammy is 100% the right choice for who I'm taking up there. And I need, um, I need focused trickster, no, focused striker uh, shards. And Rhonda is in this, but what I would really have liked to have seen is League 22 and up with individual league tiers for the loot have a lot more shards because the loot is just not there. Gold League is, is good. Gold League has some six-star silvers, even if they're not ones that you're going to change the world with. I mean, that Tori at six-star silver is a great jump for a lot of people. If you don't have her, you know, it's an easy to, way to get a girl to six-star gold as quickly as possible. And by the way, confirmed they are changing the artwork because her gear is not in there, so she should not be gold. And since the last video, they did already change Braun Breaker's artwork so that you know that it's not the good Braun Breaker, not the not the super rare Braun Breaker that it's in here. Um, so I'm going to do 88 loot pulls um, to to kind of pad out the, the conversation of what do these look like. And then I'm going to show you the backlash tour um, and how you can kind of get to that and then call it a video. So this is my silver league loot. All I need is striker focused shards. I could care less about every other thing that is in here. Although, uh, actually I changed my mind. Aggressive, uh, aggressive powerhouse would also be nice. I'm just gonna click a few of them and then we're gonna hit skip all because nobody's here, I don't think, wanting to see 100 pulls in this loot. However, I do want you to kind of see what does it look like when you go through it? What are the average clicks like? And this is kind of what it is. So we had Hall of Fame Lawler. He is dated, but still usable. Uh, she is an absolutely vital coach. Eddie is dated and not very usable. Uh, AJ was never good, unfortunately. They need, need, need a powerhouse AJ character in the game that is S plus tier. Ooh, gold. Let's go gold. Four, five. Go five. All right. Hey, look at that. That was a big fuse for that brawn. Um, I'm not sad about that at all. He's actually a good trainer as well. And I needed to take him up to five-star gold and just have been not doing it for, for various reasons. So this is the guy that got added in there. Um, Andrade is back in WWE, which is great to see him. However, his character, uh, we've got a video on him. He, he's not good. I mean, he's how many years old? How long has he been gone from WWE? Let's just say that, right? He's not that good. Uh, so you're not going to use him to beat the world. But... He is, if you don't have him, it's great to have him back in there. That's the great thing about it. Braun, I need to know what type of shards he is, because if he is aggressive powerhouse, then I am all for this loot, actually. If he's aggressive powerhouse, I change my comment that this loot is now vital, because I have so many aggressive powerhouses. I just took one to six gold, so if I'm going to take anybody else up, I'm going to need all of those shards that I can get. So we're going to do the first 10. That'll get us to about 80, 81. And then I'm going to skip all and we're going to talk about this. Because again, I know 
This is thrilling. By the way, I just got some Ronda shards. I desperately need Ronda shards. Thank you, thank you, thank you for those. Uh, ooh, silver. It's not six silver, could it be? No, no. Uh, trainer ability, I don't think I care for his... I don't remember what his trainer ability is. I know that I've got tech KO. I call him TKO even before the board thing happened, or the merger thing happened. But I've got TKO on my list of people that I need to bump up for trainer abilities. I don't remember why, uh, but he's there. Lawler. All right, last one, and then we'll hit skip all. Unbelievable. Ooh. Okay, I would like a six-star godfather. When I hit skip all, let's materialize a six-star godfather, because that would be... Nope. But I got a shard fuse for Sako, and that's definitely... It might be a shard fuse, but I think it's a... Or starfill, sorry. Starfill fuse. But it might be a full one for him. Other than that, that means I didn't get anything that was of note, and uh, that's a feature. See, this is... 50 shards of godfather is not featured but whatever i do want to take him up just because he's the you know spam the spam the board machine uh i got a few ronda in here not a lot though so it is what it is all right let's go to career mode real quick and then we'll close this one out if you go to change tour you will see at the bottom here that you have the backlash tour it is uh going to be locked out for you unless somehow which as of the making of this video would be physically impossible to do uh unless somehow you've already gotten your your uh, feud matches in but once you unlock league 23 you get the backlash tour and in the backlash tour there are confirmed to be six star gold opponents which is phenomenal like i know this mlc has been a mess unfortunately they did a lot of really good things if the oopsies weren't in place we would be shouting how great some of this stuff is because think about this as a content creator, uh, we've only been on the content creator team for a few months, but watching uh, Merricks and Goldie and, and DJ and Davey, watching Professor, watching Benny, watching Sir Zorro, a lot of the comments that you've had is, uh, well, we're, we're playing with a six-star silver character, but there's not six-star silver opponents. And that went throughout the six-star silver meta. To be able to start the six-star gold meta with six-star gold opponents, not only for content creators, but for everybody, is just a good step. And I like the fact, very much like the fact, that they actually locked it behind League 23. Uh, they put a new Survivor Series tour in there for everybody, but League 23 is the requirement to get to the new tour, and I like that. It gives me something to grind for, especially knowing that there's hundreds of millions of coins, tons of TP, and a lot of tokens in there. So I actually have to do some work to get there, which is really what makes these games fun. Like If everything's just given to us, you don't care anymore. Like, I have access to the Candy Store account. I can't play on it all the time, obviously. But just the fact that it has absolutely everything maxed out, if that were a competitive thing for like, if we could use those, we can't and we don't. Uh, but if we could use those competitively, it'd just be like, whatever. I'll win first turn every time because I always have everything. Like, you just don't find as much enjoyment in that. Uh, so this gives something to grind for. I also love the fact that they do 22, 23, and 24 at the same time. Please do that again in the future, hopefully within the next five to six months, not another year, uh, because that gives you something to play for. So the negative, the loot is not good. The positives, you've got a lot to work for, you've got a lot of grind to do, and it keeps the game fun. When you're done with anything else, everything else, if you look at my account, I have beaten everything on the road with the exception of one star on the Survivor Series on the new matches. That's it. Like, I need something else to do, and it's good for all of us to have more in-game content. I'd rather have things sitting there that I, I haven't gotten to yet than log in and go, oh, there's nothing to do. And this helps with that in a big way. So that's our uh, look into Leagues 23 and 24. Fortunately, unfortunately, uh, the loot stays the same. So go ahead and do your polls because if you're hoarding them, waiting for something else, I, it's going to be wait. You, you've got time. You've got time. Just do the polls, get the shards out of it, and maybe, maybe, maybe you get a fuse. I got two. They were just not good. So anyway, I'll talk to you on the next one. Be sure to like, share, and subscribe, uh, you know, Champions Chat content because we try to be helpful. This is trying to be helpful. We'll see you on the next one. Bye.
Uh.